When an airplane moves through an air mass of varying density and temperature and over the surface of the earth, there are several different speeds that a pilot must understand uh, to successfully fly the aircraft uh, through the air. Hi, I'm Mark Donovan and I'm a flight instructor of CFII and I've been flight instructing now for about five years. And in this video, I'm gonna focus on discussing uh, the four most common types of speeds that a pilot must be very familiar with in order to successfully fly the aircraft and to navigate it through the air and over the surface of the earth. All right, we're gonna talk now about the four types of aviation airspeeds and what each means. First, we have the indicated airspeed. The indicated airspeed, uh, read right off the airspeed indicator in the aircraft, um, is normally what pilot references in the cockpit for speed changes. The indicated airspeed is the airspeed of an aircraft as measured by its pitot-static system and displayed on the airspeed indicator. The airspeed indicator uses the difference between total pressure and static pressure provided by the pitot-static system to either mechanically or electronically measure dynamic pressure. Indicated airspeed is uncorrected for variations in atmospheric density, installation errors, or instrument error. An aircraft's indicated airspeed in knots is typically abbreviated KIAS, knots indicated airspeed. The indicated airspeed in a, is an important value for pilots because it's the indicated airspeeds which are specified in the aircraft's pilot operating handbook or flight manual for important performance values such as the stall speeds, uh, best rate of climb, best angle climb, and others. Uh, indicated airspeeds are also the speed limits of the sky, like not exceeding 250 knots below 10,000 feet MSL, or like not exceeding 200 knots in holding patterns when at or below 6,000 feet MSL. Next, we have calibrated airspeed. Calibrated airspeed is indicated airspeed corrected for an instrument in positional errors due to incorrect pressure readings on the static port caused by airflow disruption. At certain airspeeds, and with certain flap settings, the installation and instrument errors may total several knots. This error is generally greatest at low air speeds with no highs, uh, nose high pitch attitudes, like on a climb out. Calibrated air speed in knots is usually abbreviated KCAS for calibrated uh, air speed in knots. Uh, when flying at sea level under international standard atmosphere conditions, such as 15 degrees Celsius, 29.92 inches of mercury, and 0% humidity, Calibrated airspeed is the same as true airspeed, which we'll get to next. And if there's no wind, it's also the ground speed, which we'll also cover. So true airspeed. True airspeed is the speed of your aircraft relative to the air it's flying through. As the aircraft climbs, true airspeed is higher than indicated airspeed. Pressure decreases with higher altitudes. So for any given true airspeed, as you climb, fewer and fewer air molecules will enter the pitot tube. And because of that, indicated airspeed will be less than true airspeed. For every thousand feet above sea level, true airspeed is about 2% higher than indicated airspeed. So at 10,000 feet, true airspeed is roughly 20% faster than what you read off your airspeed indicator. You can see here on the right here, you'll notice that at roughly 1600 feet MSL, the indicated airspeed is 95 knots and the true airspeed is reading about 97 knots in this application. Next is ground speed. Ground speed is the speed of an airplane over the ground. It's true airspeed corrected for wind. With a true airspeed of 70 knots and a tailwind of 20 knots, you'd be flying a ground speed of 90 knots. And again, when flying at sea level under international standard atmospheric conditions, again, 15 degrees Celsius, 20.92 inches of mercury and 0% humidity, calibrated airspeed is the same as true airspeed and if there's no wind, it is also the same as ground speed. So those are the four most common speeds a pilot must be very familiar with when flying an aircraft. Hopefully you found this video useful, and if you did, consider hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. And if you have any questions or comments on this video, feel free to leave them below.